My name is Charlie Austin. I graduated from Michigan State University in 2005 with a degree in forensic anthropology. Um, I've been here with Fairhill Partners since last September, so I've been here for almost a year now. We're standing on the porch for the future site of the Kinship Village. They're going to be apartments anywhere from studio to three bedroom apartments um, for kinship families, which we consider grandparents raising grandchildren, aunts and uncles raising children that are not biologically their own, but they'll be able to come here, have a place on campus where we can all kind of focus together. You'll be able to get counseling and anything else like that that you might need as a requirement. We're very excited to have Eaton out today for their service day. They're helping us with a number of projects anywhere from sealing up these two buildings for Kinship Village to um, helping with some administrative tasks inside, landscaping, repainting townhouse porches. They're helping us excavate a walking path, all work that we would not be able to do without the help of corporations like Eaton during service days such as these. I'm Lindsay Jaxey. I graduated from Michigan State University in May of 2007 with a degree in finance. We're doing part of our leadership development program and we're here in Cleveland um, doing some training this week. It's always part of Eden's culture to give back. Um, so we get just once a year to come and volunteer our time, all 300 of us. Whenever we have a conference, there's usually a community service event. We usually take a, a, a day, well not an entire day, usually an afternoon and we go somewhere. Today we're doing a few things. I'm not even, I'm, I'm, I'm over in the landscaping group. I'm not sure what everybody else is doing. My name is Ola Bonkole. I am uh, a alum out of MSU, Supply Chain Management Program, graduated in 2009. Well, what we're doing today is uh, pretty much putting up these tiles here in this uh, home for the, for the elderly. It is, it's really, it, to me, it's really important because not everybody gets the chance to, to have everything, you know, as they, as they would have appreciated. it. So taking your time out and actually coming here and doing this with so many people, that's actually really nice. It doesn't look like much, but just looking at what we're doing, we, we can already tell that we're making a difference because if they had to hire a contractor, for example, that would have been some funds that, that they don't have available right now. I didn't have any idea about Eaton before I went to the career fair. What I did after the career fair and I got the brochures, I read through them and as usual they said apply online. So I went online, I applied online um, and I started reading about what they actually have and just so, you know, lucky me, I got called for a first interview. So initially I, I didn't know anything about Eaton. Um, I saw a sign driving into to MSU, I saw a sign. So initially I didn't know anything about Eaton, but uh, when I got with the, with the folks at MVP, um, I heard nothing but good things about Eaton. I, I heard a, a lot about Eaton's involvement with Michigan State University. And when I, when I got the email that said, hey, come to the breakfast, <laughs> I, I, I came and, and that's kind of how the relationship began. They're behind the scenes in a lot of the products we use every day. Um, I mean, your cars, your trucks, your laundry machine, everything. So it was good to, to see what I actually use every day and rely on every day my company you know, makes. I really like the culture at Eaton. I thought everyone I met had a really good uh, Midwestern feel to them. They were all really great. They've been with Eaton for a long time. So I really like that about Eaton. Well, basically I had the chance to work uh, for Eaton as an intern and uh, that's really where I learned um, just how good of a company Eaton is and just its overall responsibility to um, its employees as well as the community. And that, that's one thing that I really appreciated about it as well as the overall uh, diversity of the business. Well, well, one thing that I can say about Eaton Ethics is, I mean, a lot of people talk ethics. I, I really, I, I sincerely believe that Eaton lives at ethics as well. You don't see very many companies that send 300 kids out to a uh, senior center to help, you know, with everything that they, that they need help with. From personal experience, up in my sales office in Minneapolis, um, I mean, there are some senior people there that are 50, 60 years old, and they're willing to step aside from their paperwork or their sales and help me out and make sure I know, you know what I need to know to, to progress in the future.